Hello, Joe from BearsLeak.com, and welcome to the morning drive. Uh, be sure to visit our website at www.bearsleak.com for our head gas concealer and all kinds of other automotive products. And visit our website at www.hairfuelonline.com for uh, some great hair growth products. Today in the morning drive, I wanted to talk about um, some difficulties I've had with uh, streaming or sending Netflix to a TV. Uh, so let me start out by saying we have a, a little place down at the beach, a little vacation home that we go to on the weekends in the summer. Not every weekend, but a lot of weekends. And um, I don't pay TV service down there because we're not there enough to earn it. So um, what I do is I bring a device like an iPad or a Chromecast and um, I bring that down. I prefer to use the iPad because my iPad has an output um, I have a little adapter where I can use an HDMI cable and send that directly into my TV. That typically works a lot better than the Chromecast uh, for my purposes. So that's the way I prefer to use it. Um, so I, I, you pull up Netflix in the iPad and, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there browsing through movies and, 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 you know, we finally choose something to watch. And when I click play, um, it says, please use the app on your smart TV. Well, the problem is, I don't have a smart TV. This TV is, is it's, it's a flat panel LCD TV. It's probably about, I, I'm, I'm going to guess, like eight years old. So, um, it has no apps. It's a dumb TV as opposed to a smart TV. But anyway, um... What does Netflix care whether I use an app on the TV or whether I use um, an HDMI cable? Um, to me, that is super ridiculous. I think maybe what they're trying to prevent is you running uh, the HDMI output to another device that would have the capability of streaming it or sharing it out to other people or possibly, you know... Um, you know, maybe maybe duplicating a movie, copying it like in, in the old days when when we used to record stuff on VHS or now it's a DVR. And that's the only thing I can think of. But come on, Netflix. I mean, that this is totally ridiculous. I prefer to use an HDMI output on my iPad because my TV uh, because because the Chromecast cuts out sometimes. I, I don't like it. Our internet's not good there either. I use a hotspot on my phone, for God's sake. Um, another thing that I use when we're down there is I have a sling box at home. For those of you that don't know, a sling box is um, it hooks up to your whatever TV service you have. It hooks up to their box. And whatever's coming out of that box goes into the sling box and it is sent out to the TV I'm sorry, it goes, the TV signal goes into the sling box and then you can connect to it with an, with an app on your device or, or like on a laptop on the, on the internet. Um, you connect to it over the internet wherever you are. So it shares your TV service. You can change the channels from afar. Uh, and and it, it works really nice when it works, but that also cuts out a lot. And I'm not sure if it has to do with my internet service. Uh, but I don't think it does because um, I see other people complaining about the same thing. It'll be playing nice and smooth and fine for a while, then it'll lose the connection to the sling box. So I'm not sure what's dropping there. But uh, back to the Netflix thing, I mean, I don't know why more and more services are making it so difficult to use the services that you pay for in the manner you want to use it. I go I go over to Hulu and I'll tell you what, I'm using Hulu more now than Netflix because I don't have that problem with Hulu. I plug an HDMI cable into my iPad and boom, that shit's right up on the TV and, and no problems, no messages. Um, another thing that's worth men mentioning, my home uh, TV service is Comcast and Xfinity Comcast and they have a really beautiful streaming app um, that you can 
have on your smartphone or tablet and it works really really well um, the only thing that's annoying is when you go out of your um, you know regional service area um, and let's say the Philadelphia Eagles are on which is my favorite team and who I prefer to watch when I get out of the service area um, it gives me jeopardy instead of the Eagles game or some other stupid ass show so uh, that's kind of annoying because if, if you have this app and I'm the owner of the service I should be able to watch that in France if I wanted to um, but apparently not I'm not sure if that's that's Comcast or, or the NFL but the shit's really getting annoying um, because I just want to use the services I paid for in the manner I want to use them and uh, there's always roadblocks. When I hook that Xfinity app up to a TV, it doesn't work. It actually detects that I'm connected to um, uh, an external device and it says you cannot use this app under these conditions. Please disconnect from the TV and use, um, you know, it's basically tell me just to use it on the device. I also tried casting my whole screen um, on my from my Android phone and then opening the stream app and it still detects that. So it's just really no annoying. I like to use that, like for example, downstairs in my kitchen where I do not have a cable running to my TV. I have a Chromecast plugged in there and I like to just send stuff to my Chromecast. I can't with the Xfinity app. Um, so anyway, uh, if this video, if, if you have any ways around, anybody out there has any ways around the uh, uh, block that I get from Netflix, hey, use your smart app, to, your smart TV to, to stream Netflix. If anybody has a way around that, where I can still use my HDI cable, HDMI cable, please let me know. Um, you know, it, it, I think it's bullshit. So leave it in the comments. Um, and as always, uh, you can visit our website at www.bearslake.com for our head gas concealer and all kinds of other automotive products. Um, and then we have hair growth products at www.hairfillonline.com. Um, and you can give us a call at 859-428-7342. Until next time on the morning drive, this has been Joe from BearsLake.com. Have a good one, guys.